perfect. Now we have to create the word file for each and every employee available in the input file. So these are the employees available with their sales report. Okay. And using this particular master file, I have to create the word file for each and every employee. To do that, first we have to do, first what we have to do is move this particular master file or create a master file for every employee so that we can replace this particular details with those employee details okay as a part of it what I'll be doing is I'll go over here whatever we have created till now and I will use a for each because I have to do it for every employee available in that input for each row is used to iterate the values uh, to fetch the values from a data table okay see the input of it is data table and what we have is data table so I'm passing that to it once that is done I'm saving it next what we have to do is as a process we have to create a template for each and every employee so that later we can replace the available values in master template with the real-time employee details for that I have to be copying the master sheet to this particular word file folder that we have created now I will use copy file activity you can search for that over here copy file see there are few parameters it is expecting us to pass one is from one is to from so what is the file path for us this is the path I can go to properties and I can select the whole path from here uh, you can just hold shift and right click here and you will find copy as path coming to here I'm just pasting it okay you can just control V here so it's there and then to where we have to copy that particular file okay so this is the folder to which we want to pass it so control C just create two double quotes and it is there in this in this particular folder okay backslash plus I'm just concatenating all the strings what should be the file name okay file name let's create it with respect to the name so here we have the variable called row okay and sorry so row then name okay name of that particular employee fine so this particular thing will give me all the names okay one by one from this particular input whatever we have read so the first iteration it will give me the Sharath, then Suman, then David, then Zim. This is the name that I have mentioned. Okay, in this column, it will give me every details. Fine. So I haven't I have mentioned the file name, but what should be the extension of it? Let me give me docs. I have given docs. Okay, if there are any files in it, I have to overwrite it. I have selected this and I have clicking control yes okay it has saved the flow let me run this flow once and see what happens so it has read the input from the input is done let's see what happened if I just go here we have created four files with us 
all have been created right now and in David so this is the particular file a template for David this is for Jim but what we can observe is the values in this are the same okay whatever we have in the template but this is not the expected result that we are expecting we want this fields to be replaced by Jim's report or Jim's details okay so right now what we can do is once we move them right we have to be replacing those files with the genuine data so for that to happen we have to use word file activities so just click on word okay I think there are no uh, word activities installed here so what I will do is I will go to manage packages click on all packages and click word here are the word activities I have to be installing them any activity that you find that it is not available in your workspace you can install them using manage packages okay by now they should be available to us let's open this and then go here and type word so a different activities that we have associated with the word we can add images to the word we can append the text we can export the word to PDF we can insert a data table we can replace an image we can replace text and different activities to do any of these things we have to be using word application scope so I'm dragging this see here also it is expecting a file path on which any of this activities has to be performed so this is the path that we have to give I'm copying this and pasting this over here control V once that is done what we want to do number one thing that we want to do is we want to replace this name with the name available in the input file this division with the division available in the input file and similarly sales with that expectation I can use replace text and here for search for what search for name as you can see this is what we have the placeholder name division and sales so replace name with row of name dot to string okay similarly here replace division with okay surrounded with the double quotation row of division dot to string and the third one that we have to be replacing is sales let's see what was the column name for that it is sales right I'm just copying it row of paste whatever you have copied here and to string that's done so what this will do what is the error over here okay there was a double quotation two times fine this what this activity will do right now it is will op it will use this word scope so we are referring which file to do any operations on and then we are using replace text so that whatever we have in the template will be replaced with the genuine data fine so as we are done with this let's quickly 
run the function or program run file so this time the input is this as you can see it is trying to replace the dummy data in the template with the original data that we have in the input file the bot is able to do everything by itself there is the fourth file that's done let's see the output ones if I just go to word files and open David unlike the last time we have the data available in it okay David has got its own data Jim has got it as the name as the file name indicates it's Jim and it has the Jim data and here Sharad has got the Sharad data in it that's about word files